Hey everyone, this is our uh, 6.7 um, video. It's solving a quadratic uh, function by graphing. And there's your I can statement. So go ahead and get that down. And we're going to dive in. I'm going to show you guys how to do one problem. And then I'm going to have you do two on your own. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, first off, a standard quadratic equation is in this form right here. All right. So there's our standard quadratic equation. What we're trying to do in this lesson is we're trying to figure out what x will be to get a zero right there. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So let's dive in and see if we can solve and figure out what x is, all right? Now, notice here, we're gonna do this problem together. Notice that we have a graph where it says y. Well, we're gonna graph it, and then ultimately solving it means we're gonna substitute a zero in for, for y. So we're trying to figure out what x will be that will give us y. And we'll make sense of that when we actually finish this up here and see what's going on, all right? So let's go ahead and graph, let's go ahead and, and, and graph it and see what's going on here. So we need to start always by finding the vertex. All right, that's the very first thing we must do in this equation right here. All right, so let's find the, the we're gonna start by finding the x value of the vertex. Now you guys probably remember how to do that. It's negative b over 2a. So we'd say negative seven over 2a, which would be times negative one. And that looks like it's just gonna be a positive three and a half. All right, so let's go ahead and make our table. So x and y, and let's put in our x value of the vertex. So 3.5, and we're gonna figure out our y value. Now, the way to do this is we take three and a half and we substitute it in for x into both parts of the equations. To save a little bit of time, I've already calculated that. It's gonna be 2.25, all right? So we're just substituting x, 3.5, into both parts, solving it and figuring out what y is gonna be. Let's go ahead and graph that and see where we're at. So 3.5 and 2.25 on my graph, it's about right there, all right? Now, hopefully we already knew the graph was gonna open up down, all right, because we have a negative value for A. And when A is negative, we know it opens down. So that kind of gives us an idea of what's going on here. Now, imagine that we had a line going straight down that point right there, nice vertical line. We call that our axis of symmetry. For our next X values, we wanna pick points that are on this, that are the same distance away from 3.5. All right. I always like to go, you know, go to my next, my closest whole numbers to start. So I'm going to go three and four. Now, again, why do I do that? It's nice because if I choose one or the other, I'm going to get the same Y value because remember axis of symmetry, it looks the same on both sides. So if we find out one, we found out the other. So let's just plug a three in. Number is a little bit smaller, easier for us to calculate. In this case, I've already taken the liberty of doing that. So I put a three in here for X and a three in for, I guess, both X's, and I get a value of two. Let's go ahead and graph that. So uh, three, so one, two, three, two would be really close to that. And then four, two would be really close to that. So you can kind of see the shape of the parabola forming there. Let's go again. And let's go two and five, all right? And again, I would probably choose the two. It's a little bit smaller number. I'd go ahead and plug that in for X into both uh, parts there. And when you do that, you end up with a value of zero. Now, at this point, I'm going to actually stop here. I'm going to graph the points and I'm going to stop. I'll make a nice, try to make a nice curve line here. All right. And our graph is going to look something like that right there. All right. And we could keep going, but we're going to stop. And because we've, we've technically calculated what it's going to be. All right. We have found the X intercepts and that's what we're searching for. So when it says to solve it by graphing, we are searching for the X intercepts. All right. Those are solutions. And I'll explain to you why. There's another word for that. We call it the roots. All right. So it's the X intercept or the roots. So our solution to this equation would be two and five. Those are the two values. Why are those the two values? Well, think about it. If you put a two in for this equation right here for X and X, we end up getting zero for Y, and that's what we're calculating. And if you think about that ordered pair, think of the ordered pair two comma zero. Isn't that what we're trying to find? We're trying to find out where Y is equal to zero. That's the standard quadratic equation. So we know we've got one of them. The other one has to be five comma zero. That's what you're searching for. So the value is, the, the answers are two and five. That's because those are the two intercepts. You can see we've written them there. So you can write it a lot of different ways, actually, if you think about it. So the, kind of all of that is the answer. Those are, we're searching for our X intercepts. We call those the roots and they're two and five in this case. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you see what's going on. Um, uh, I did um, use, there's, there's a Desmos slide in here as well. Um, or for some of them there will be. So uh, we'll look at that in a second. But um, uh, yeah, this is just kind of the stuff we just talked about. 
So um, go ahead, pause that if you need to, but that's exactly what we just talked about. The two equations are interchangeable. We talked about the solutions, the roots or the x-intercepts, same thing, all right? So what I want you to do at this point is I want you to pause this and I want you to try to solve this by graphing. Now remember, this equals zero. This is kind of interchangeable with y, okay? So pause it, try it. All right, hopefully you're back here. Hopefully you got what you think the answers are. I'm gonna go ahead in, in the slide because this is where I've actually used Desmos to just make the graph so we can save a little bit of time on this video. This is what the graph looks like. So hopefully this is what you calculated and this is what you had as your answers right there. So we would say the solutions are negative one and positive five, okay? Because those are where, the, where this graph crosses the x-axis. All right, so hopefully you did okay on that one. If not, uh, go back and watch my video again. See what you did wrong. What's going on there? All right. I want you to try one more for me. All right. So let's say you were going to solve this one by, for graphing. Now, just real quick heads up before you actually start to solve this one, you need to get it into the standard quadratic form. So what I would say is you'd want to add eight to both sides of this equation first. All right. Let me just write up what we'd have over here. So you'd have x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. Now remember, 0 and y are kind of interchangeable. Um, so you're going to go ahead and see if you can solve this one by graphing as well. So get it into the standard quadratic equation first, uh, which means have 0 on that right side, and then you can go ahead and, and try to graph it. All right. So at this point, pause the video, try it, see what you get. All right, hopefully you're back with us. Hopefully you've You've, you've gotten what you think is the answer. Again, I use Desmos to come up with the answer just to save a little time in the video. And here's what we ended up with. So it looks like our two roots are going to be uh, negative two and then negative four. Those are the two answers right there. And hopefully that's what you ended up with. All right. Um, so that's all we're doing. That's the whole lesson. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, and hopefully you've taken some good notes. If you have questions, just, you know, reach out to me. You know, we can try to figure this out together. So thanks for watching and good luck as you jump into your practice problems.